Hi and welcome to another episode of Toby's Barbecue Corner. Today we're making Halloween on the barbecue. Now what you need for it and how to do it, I'm gonna show you in this episode. And this is what we need for today. Now you need some minced meat, you need your favorite dry rub, you need some bacon, you need some breadcrumbs, you need an egg, and you need some cauliflower. Now in the first step you have to cook uh, the cauliflower for about six minutes in boiling water, so that's happening right now. In the meantime we can take care of the minced meat, so it's fairly simple. You take your minced meat, you put the breadcrumbs in there, you also put about two tablespoons of your favorite dry rub in there. Now I'm using one that's specifically for beef, I think it just adds a lovely flavor to it. And you need one egg, kind of like glue, so to speak, for it, so you put that in and now we're gonna mix it. Right, the cauliflower is pre-cooked and now it's time to cover it in our minced meat mix. So what you want to do is you try to get it as uniform as possible, you know, obviously without crushing the cauliflower too much or at all actually. <laughs> so you try to create this little ball of minced meat. So I'm going to finish this up now and I'm going to show you the next step. All done, and now we're going to cover it in bacon and give it some moisture later on on the barbecue. The kamado is already heating up. It's sitting at about 180 degrees. That's also what we're looking for. And we're gonna cook it for about an hour, give or take, depending on how quickly, uh, you know, the bacon renders as well as the minced meat cooks. So, I'm gonna see you outside in just a second. As I said, the barbecue sits at 180 degrees, indirect, and I put a drip pan on because obviously we have quite a bit of bacon. And now, on it goes for about an hour, and then it should be done. About 18 minutes left to go. Let's have a quick look, and nicely dripping away. So what I decided to do is we're going to baste it a little bit with barbecue sauce, just simply because it makes the bacon tastes that much better. <laughs> so we're gonna get that done and we're gonna cook it for an additional 18 minutes and then all of that goodness should be ready. Exactly one hour later, we're done. So let's give it that center cut. <laughs> and now you should see why this is Halloween on the barbecue because it does look a little bit like a brain, doesn't it? So we're gonna dig in now and I'm sure it's going to be absolutely awesome. All right guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video about Halloween on the barbecue. Uh, now it was super delicious. The kids especially loved it. You know, I mean, it's a bit creepy <laughs> to eat brain off the barbecue, but I think it works really well. So if you need something as an eye catcher for your Halloween party, might as well go ahead and do it. It's super simple. Now, if you did enjoy the video, I would appreciate a comment and a thumbs up. Please head over to that subscribe button for more great videos to come. And I hope to see you soon again at Toby's Barbecue Corner.